select an object in Illustrator and go to Object Menu, Create Gradient Mesh. I'm going to use 4 and 4, you could use 12 and 12. You've also got the option for appearance, you go for flat, which is the solid colour. You can't unfortunately use gradients. I would love it to use gradients, but it doesn't. To centre, you can use to centre, and you've got a nice white bright there. Unfortunately, you can't position it, would be nice as well. Also, to edge, so you've got the white around the edge. You can modify the highlight, so you can say, make it a bit duller at 50%. I'm gonna go with 100. Once you've done that, click OK. You can also go over here to the mesh tool. So you've got the mesh tool, and you can modify the individual meshes. So you can click there and select it. Maybe decide, you know what, I want orange. Maybe select that one, I want red. However, what you can also do is you can go up here, direct selection tool, basically do exactly the same. You can also move them around, do that with that. So the mesh tool is very similar as well. And also change the color. So you can just change the color there. However, you can't, of course, add any mesh points. That's the difference. So if you go here to the mesh, you can actually click and add some additional ones and it will use the current color. So if I decide, you know what, I want to go and click that one and I'm gonna go with blue. So now I go anywhere else, I can add blue very quickly to my design. However, mesh tool can also be used to warp it in like this. Just drag there around the edge. So you can distort that, just drag it. Now, sometimes you don't get anything particularly coming out, but sometimes you get some nice color, obviously the yellow there, and so on. You go around, again, white there, blue there, now that should streak that out, and so on. So you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes. Of course, you can duplicate it, hold down the ultra option key, duplicate that design, fill the design with those. Also, you can use maybe, go to object menu, envelope distort, make with warp. So you can warp it and just go for maybe arch lower, arch, shell upper, and so on. And you can of course distort it in other ways using these vertical, horizontal, etc. bend settings and click OK. And you can see the warp there. And of course you can modify that as well if you wish. So you can distort it even more. So you create all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes using direct selection tool. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.